Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am an expat from Finland and I have now lived in the Netherlands for almost three years. To be exact, it will be three years in the end of August 2023. So a few months ago I filmed a video called five things that surprised me about the Netherlands and you guys really liked that video so I thought it would be a fun idea to film a part two. So this video shall be called five more things that <laughs> surprised me about the Netherlands as there are many more things that I'd like to discuss about. If you haven't seen the first part don't worry these videos aren't really related to each other and if you're interested you can check it out after this video. Please take these things that I say with a bit of grain of salt and remember that these are my personal opinions. I love the Netherlands and I love living here and I do not mean to offend anyone. It is okay if you disagree with me but please let's keep the comments respectful. But yeah let's get into it. me and my boyfriend have had a few discussions slash arguments about is if you should wear shoes inside or not. I have heard that not all Dutch people wear shoes inside but from my experience most of them do and in the northern European countries we do not do that. It has caused a bit of a dispute once in a while. I think it would be easier to keep the apartment clean if you wouldn't be wearing shoes inside and especially when it comes to the carpets. I always take my shoes off when I'm inside and I honestly think it's much more comfortable that way. I don't know, I'm often sitting, like even now when filming, I'm sitting with my legs crossed. So if I would be wearing shoes, that would be very uncomfortable. So I don't really know, understand why you would want to wear them inside. My boyfriend argues that he thinks it's more hygienic to wear shoes inside, especially if you're visiting someone, because then you don't need to smell anyone's sweaty feet. I don't know. What do you think? Are you team shoes inside or are you team no shoes inside? Let me know down in the comments. I come from Northern Europe. The Netherlands is also geographically located quite in the north of Europe, but yeah, it's not Northern Europe, but you get my point. At least in the recent years, the Netherlands hasn't gotten much snow, but I have understood there's a bit more snow in the Southern provinces, but I live in Leiden and here we don't really get snow. And if we do, it's the kind that melts almost immediately. But a few years ago, in 2021 February, we actually got quite a lot of snow and I was thrilled about it. What I didn't expect was the slight chaos that followed it, especially when it came to public transportation. So me and my friend who is also from Finland had seen on the news that there's gonna be snow and we thought, yay, like amazing. And we decided to meet up. So I went to her place in Amsterdam and our plan was the next day when it was supposed to snow or was supposed to like snow in the nighttime to go and take photos, like beautiful snowy photos in Amsterdam, we thought, this idea was amazing and the next morning when we woke up it indeed had snowed and a lot and it was really beautiful but <laughs> no one had told us that when it snows in the Netherlands it means that there is no public transportation. So my friend lived back then a bit outside of the city center so <laughs> without public transportation it was impossible for us to get to the places where we wanted to go to get the photos so that idea was scrapped and an even bigger problem I got stuck there. It was a Sunday, so I decided to wait one more night and hope that maybe on Monday the public transportation would resume and I would be able to get back home. But Monday came and there was still no sign even that it would resume anytime soon. And on the news they were saying that there will probably be no trains or buses until the end of the week. And the problem here was that I had to work. I couldn't possibly just skip a whole week of work. So this was a bit disastrous for me and quite a stressful situation. So eventually I was actually able 
to convince an Uber driver to take me home. I was like all teary eyed and I was like, please take me home. I was so desperate. And uh, he took a pity on me and he said he could take me home if I pay him in cash. So I ended up paying him 80 euros in cash, which is quite a lot. But at the same time, it would have been much more expensive for me to not work for a full week. So in the end, I was just very happy to get back home. And then I was able to enjoy a beautiful snowy Leiden instead. That whole experience was quite surprising for me because I come from a country where it's snow like all the time during the winter and the public transportation is working fine. I thought maybe there will be some delays, but surely I can get home. But no, that was not the case. So yeah, lesson learned. Next time, if I see it's gonna snow in the Netherlands, I'll make sure to stay home. Dutch people are famous for being quite stubborn people, both in good and bad. And I have got to experience this firsthand with my Dutch boyfriend, who is also a little bit stubborn. And I have especially noticed that the Dutch don't like to follow rules. Here people are very like individual, in, individualist, individualistic. What, what's the word? But people think in a very like individual way. People do what they want to do and no one's going to tell them to do otherwise. I think the perfect story to demonstrate this, if we go back to that same week in 2021 February, when it was cold and snowy. Back then it was so cold actually that like lakes and canals froze, which was really fun and beautiful. And the Dutch people were super excited because this meant they could go ice skating. And the Netherlands is a country full of people who love ice skating. Canals were frozen and there were so many people walking and ice skating on them. Although if you ask me, looking at how thin the ice was and it was like crackling under people, I would have never gone on that ice in Finland. We are like brainwashed to be scared of thin ice since we are children. So yeah, for me, it was a bit too thin to get on. But anyway, I get that here. It's such a rare occurrence for the waters to freeze like that. So people wanted to really enjoy it. But the cold weather lasted for about a week. And then the week after that, it started getting warmer again. So on the news, they were saying that do absolutely not get on the ice anymore. It is so thin, it won't hold. And guess did anyone listen to that advice? The next day, the news and social media was full of videos and photos of people falling through the ice. I thought that was a great symbolism for the Dutch stubbornness. And if they wanna do something, they certainly will, even if it means that they will be falling through the ice. Something that quite shocked me was learning about the Dutch swear words because they are quite awful, at least a big bunch of them. If I like compare it to the English or Finnish or Swedish language, the swear words in those three languages are nothing compared to the Dutch ones. The Dutch ones are quite horrendous. So what is common is that you swear with diseases here and then you add like other vulgar words on top of it. Yeah, and I'm also surprised that people actually use these swear words and like at each other, at strangers. There's been a few times, for example, when I've seen people who are biking or something and they crash into each other and yeah, they will be screaming at each other and so awful swear words are flying back and forth. I'm not gonna say out loud what those swear words are because I don't wanna get in trouble here on YouTube. If you're interested to know what they are, I am very, very sure you can easily find them on Google. So when you are here in the Netherlands and strolling around the city, you might notice something. Pretty much no one closes their curtains. And this is very different from Finland. In Finland, people are very private and pretty much the second they come home, they close the curtains. Maybe they even keep the curtains closed all day. I'm not sure if I think that's good or bad or I think this is like a neutral thing. 
but yeah here in the Netherlands people don't close their curtains so when you're walking here around you can really see into everyone's homes I don't know I guess the Dutch don't feel like they have anything to hide it doesn't mean that you should go and really look inside people's apartments and go staring at them as if it was an aquarium of course you should respect their privacy still but yeah sometimes you can't help but seeing a little bit of things while walking around you can pretty much see everything even when you're trying not to look you will see people having dinner and watching the tv and once uh i swear accidentally i even saw a man's what did you think about those five things that i just mentioned if you are a fellow expat can you maybe relate to these things that have surprised me and if you are dutch do you maybe agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know down in the comments by the way i recently hit two thousand subscribers here on this channel Yay! by the time you guys are seeing this video this will have already happened a few weeks ago and i wanted to come and officially thank you guys and i can't believe there is now more than two thousand of you guys who have decided to stick around so yeah really thank you from the bottom of my heart to celebrate this little milestone i thought it could be a fun idea to film a q a video as a few of you guys have requested it so if you have any questions for the q a please leave them down in the comments thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to also see future videos see you again on my next adventure bye bye